everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this large A4 um, concertina file. Um, now I made this small um, A5 one um, quite a while ago now, quite a few months back, and I had quite a few people ask me to do the A4, so apologies it's taken me so long, one thing after another, and then we have Christmas, and I've got so many ideas as well that I like to do, so I finally got around to doing it. Um, and that was purely because I actually needed it. So I was uh, doing a New Year kind of sort out and figured I needed some more filing um, folders or files. So that's what I've done. So basically what it is, I'll show you this one here. because I'll share the link to this one. If you obviously all my new subscribers since then, you may not have seen this one. Really, really nice. Opens up. I still haven't filled in my little um, bits there. I'm not going to be doing these on the bigger one, um, but I'll show you how to do them. But inside I've just got all like... Just miscellaneous bits, um, things that get lost in drawers. I mean, I'm looking in here now, reminding myself what I've got. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, but I needed a bigger one because I've got actually some A4 file and um, A4 paper sheets that I need to file. And then basically that just goes around like so, and it seals it up. But it's, it expands out lovely, and this is why I've done this this style with the string. So if it is really thick and chunky, you've got plenty of room there for it. So um, apologies for the different lighting tonight. I'm doing an evening um, filming. I don't usually do that because usually my husband's home, so I, I tend to get all that done before he comes home from work. But he's not well. He's in bed. So I'm a bit bored, so I thought I'd do a tutorial. So this is this one. So again, same process. This just unravels. Even longer string that bit off and then you just open it up and it reveals all these really big files there so again you can add the little um, dividers there if you want to you don't have to use clear ones you can just put paper and just write on them um, if you want to and uh, yeah just a really nice style so wraps around twice and then it's slightly lifted off here so that they know you've got room to just wrap your string around like so Okay, so let's crack on and make it. So today's one I am doing yellow and white with a floral print. So I've already done some of it, as usual. Um, now you do need lots and lots of card. So, you know, I understand this isn't going to be what everybody wants to do, but I used card that I just don't tend to use. It's this colour here, and it is lovely. The more I look at it, I think actually... I, with spring, you know, fast approaching, I guess, it would be good, but I can always buy some more. But anyway, I've got a lot of this, that's why I've used it. So you need a piece for your front, so I'm doing a, a white piece for the front, so that's slightly different. If you want to use the same yellow, obviously for the inserts you can do. Um, but once I start putting it together, you can obviously decide what you want. So you'll need, in total, including the front and the back, you'll need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces of A4 card or letter paper. So I'm using A4, so this is the standard 11 and 3 quarters or 11 and 5 eighths, it's usually in between. If you're using the um, letter paper, which is eight and a half by 11, you can still do this. It's really straightforward. Once you see what I'm doing, you just... Um, Again, I'll talk you through it, but it's dead, it's dead easy. So that's what you need. And then for this top piece here, it's just slightly smaller. Let me just roughly hold the edge up there. It is 11 and a half by uh, eight. And that just gives me a nice little border all the way around there. Okay, so that's those pieces that you need there. Then you need your two side concertina pieces. This one I've already done and prepped. So you need two pieces of eight by eight and a quarter. So my A4 is defaulted at eight and a quarter. So here you would need eight by eight and a half. And then that would fit your um, letter paper size. So you'd need two pieces of either those sizes. And then a piece for your lid. So again, this is 11 and 3 quarters, but yours would be 11 if you're using your letter paper, along with all of your card here and your front piece. But this is 11 and 3 quarters by 6 and 3 eighths of an inch. And then this is the base. So again, this is 11 and 3 quarters, but yours would be 11 if you're doing the other. And then that's by 2 inches. Okay, then I've got some string and a brad. 
Oh, and you need some die cuts, tiny circles. I forgot to do that, I'll do that in a bit. Okay, so with the scoring, if you grab your um, eight by eight and a half or eight by eight and a quarter, and really straightforward scoring. We are just gonna score every half an inch along the eight inch side. Just score every half an inch all the way across there, okay? And then you will just have all of those lines. Do that with both pieces. Then with your lid, so this is the six and three eighths of an inch by whatever length you're using. You wanna score, first of all, at half an inch and then at every one eighth of an inch. Now that is optional. I've basically used the scoreboard at my advantage to make a design, but it also means that this can expand really nicely without causing any creases, unnecessary creases and stuff. So that's why I've done that effect. Then with this base piece so along the two inch side, you're gonna score at half an inch and at one and a half inches. And again, optional, but you then wanna score at every one eighth of an inch in between there. And then what we're gonna do is with our bone folder or ruler, we're just gonna roll that just to create a curve, which will create the base there. Okay, so that is all of the scoring Now if we done. go back to the two pieces here of this one that we've scored. So now we wanna create a concertina effect. So turn it over, so you've got the impression side, you should have the, the the side that's all got the lumps on it now, you can feel them. And you're gonna fold your first fold down, okay, and then up, and then down, and then up. And just do that all the way along. Okay, so once you get that, pinch it all together, and at the ends there, okay, make sure they're lined up nice and straight, and then just squeeze it down, keeping it all nice and straight. And go to this end, See how it's all nicely lined up? If it's going all off wonky, then you need to make sure that you get it all lined up on top of each other. Otherwise, it means that your concertina will not um, open and close nice and straight. It will go off to one side. So now you can see there that perfectly all folds down nice and straight. So just really get your bone tool on here if you want to, like so. Okay, so now with all the mountains facing up, you want to put some my tape. Red tape here. You want to run some tape down both those outer sides. So you've got two outer mountain sides. I've both got sticky tape on. Okay, then flip it over and just kind of pull it apart. And then what you want to do is I'll start from the right hand side here. Is the second one in? You want to put tape down, like so. And then you want to work your way along every other. So then we'll miss one, and then you'll do the next. Check that's wrong, just checking the other one there. Yeah, and then you'll do that Okay, one. so I've run it along every other, and then the very last two you want to leave empty. You don't want to stick that one there, just leave them. Okay, so that's what you should have, and then repeat that. So you have it on exactly the same on the other one. So you can see mine are both all done. So just get that one back into its shape again so it's nice and tight. Okay, so they're both ready. So now grab your, leave your front and I've got a yellow one for the back. So just two pieces there. I'm just gonna leave to one side and then we can start assembling all of our dividers inside. So start with one side, so I'm going to start on my left hand side here, so I'm just grabbing these ones. Flip it over so you've got this side and you should have two empty ones on the right hand side and on the left hand side it should start as a valley, so you can see there it's a valley fold with your sticky here. So what you want to do first of all is take this piece off, okay, grab your card making sure always focus that the top is completely flat because that's what's going to be seen you can get away if it's a little bit wonky from the bottoms and you want to make sure that it all nicely lines up and the card is sitting right in the valley of that fold so if i bring that up now you can see I'll get the light right here see the yellow pieces right down into the valley 
of that fold there. And that basically is the start, because this will be the front. There will be one of your pockets, okay? Fold that one then all over. Oh, I've got a horrible mark there. Oh, good job we won't see it. <laughs> It'll be hidden inside. I'm just gonna grab my bow pokey tool here, it's a bit easier. So again, taking off that one. And again, making sure you focus on the top first. Getting it right up to that score line like so and then fold it over and now you can see you get that second little join and that nice little pocket so again take this one off i'll show you all of this side just in case it takes a while to pick it up what i'm doing because although it is straightforward it's it can be a little bit confusing but i'm sticking it down on top of each Piece. and then as I fold it over it's creating my little pockets there so again This is why you have to make sure this concertina is, is dead straight because you'll see what I mean if it was wonky off that way all these pages would not line up properly and then that one like so Ooh. okay and then the last one is the back and you don't want to stick that one down yet actually I just remembered keep that one oh, I've got one extra because I've already got my back sorry so there's too many I'll mention that at the beginning so one, one less piece, that's good. Okay, so just leave that now because that's your back and that will all go on separately. So flip it over so you can see now you've got this nice file starting to come together. Okay, so now you get your other piece. Flip it over so you've got all these sticky bits here. And you want to start, so where you've got at the back, you've got the two pieces. You want to make sure that that one is also at the back. Okay, so if I flip this over... I'm going to start now with this one here, so the two will be the last one stuck down. Okay, so just make sure that when this is on its side, you're starting with the one with the sticker on that second piece, not where you've got the two empty. You're starting with this. So again, take this off. Okay. And now, it's a little bit more fiddly, but what I find is sit it inside. Okay, and then again, just line it up. Bring the whole thing down. You want to try and keep it flat underneath for a minute. Once we've done the first one, then the rest will be, make more sense. Just, again, line it all up nicely there. Like so. And that will just start it off, okay? So you can see now. Then we can turn the whole thing over. So now just fold that over. And then you can start bringing down one at a time. So, grab my pokey tool. This piece here. So this time what you do, bring it over and you're lying it down on the side that's got no sticky tape. Don't worry if there's an arch, that's going to happen. But just make sure it's right lined up with the score line, then fold this over like so. Okay, so that's now done. Bring your next one and take the tape off. Bring your next page over. Again, put it on the side where there's no sticky tape. Make sure your top's nice and flush, and then bring that over. Okay. Oh, that's all. I knew it would start to stick to me. There we go. Bring that one down. Okay, and then the last one. Like so. Oh. Again, sit it on top and fold that one over. 
So at the back now you should have those two pieces with no sticky. Fold it down and then you'll have that piece. Fold the front and you've got that piece. So that sticks our front on to form a pocket and that will stick our back on to form a pocket. So the back is these ones here. Okay, so flip it over and that's all ready. Let's put that to one side. That's that main piece. I'll just show you the bird's eye view of it there. You can see that's the bottom actually, that's the top. There we go. Okay, so lots and lots of room. Now grab all of these bits here. You just want to do so that on the lid here, you had that one, had that half an inch score line. You want to burnish that over and then run tape all the way along it, like I've already done. Okay, and then with your ruler, you just want to just kind of curve like so. Don't worry if you start to flatten some of those score lines because they're not there to be folded. So that now is, is that lid and that will soften up more and more and all the fibres will break up and it will just create a nice lid. Okay, so that's that piece. Then with the base where you've scored again, you've got the half inch and then there was the, what was it, one and a half inch. So again, burnish both of those score lines like so. Okay, I'm just going to make them a bit more defined, like so. Now you can see what I've done there, I've ran tape down both of those. And then again, just ever so slightly curl up that base. You can kind of get it there going. Okay, so that's what you've got there. So my front I've already done, and I've put my lovely printed paper here on top. So what we want to do first of all is grab the base, take off one of our sides here. Oh, and let me just remove all of these because they are sticking to everything. Oh gosh. Okay, right. So what was I doing? Um, yeah. So we're going to stick this Again, making sure all of our corners are perfect because this is all exposed and then run that along that half inch score line until it gets to the end there. Okay, so you can start to see now that's the bottom. Okay, flip it over, take this off, put that away from me, grab your base, so your back, sorry your back, not your base, and again stick that on top and again follow it all the way down like so. so now we've got our front on our back and our base and then our lid is going to go inside the top there of that bit so I'm going to flip all that over Again, so I can see it better. Just run that all the way along, like so. So you should have this big kind of outer case, and basically that's going to come up, and that's the lid. And then we're going to stick now that concertina bit inside. So let me grab this piece. Don't need the spare bit. And basically, you're going to stick. The back down, so the bottom is coming up to the bottom of that half inch one there and the top of this half inch one here. So it's going all the way up to where I start these little score lines. And you can see where it fits in perfectly there anyway. Again, starting with one side. So don't, don't take the, the backing off of both sides. It's easier to do it bit by bit. So I'm going to do this side first. I'm just going to bring it around sideways so I can see. Let me stick this down and then I'll be able to show you what I've done. Like so. So like I said, I've stuck it along this half inch score line here. That's the top of it. And then it goes to the lid to the very start there. Okay, stick that down and you can just kind of bend this one over, take this off. It should just automatically sit perfectly in place, but as I always say, just hover it over and hold it until you're happy. 
and then you can stick it all down like so okay and then the lid so this has got this half inch bit here you need to bring it so take this one off here so this score line here is going to meet the bottom of this bit here so as I bring it up so you're not going to see now when I bring it over you bring it over and just kind of start it off there on the bottom and basically the top of this will meet the top of that and then you know that it's it's exactly where it should be bring it around this way I can see what I'm doing like so okay so if I just show you there so you can see stuck it so I've got that one inch all nicely scored stick it down and it runs all the way along to the top there okay and then this one here because now it's the last one it's kind of quite close but you can still push that down so push that so it's away from the top just so you can get the tape off okay and again start off with the bottom make sure like so I'll show you that on there so there is your file done now you need to put a little hole punch, so I'm just going to grab my hole punch here. I can't remember how far down I've done it, what was it, a oh, one and a half. So you want to come in to the middle point, so roughly, what have I got here? So it's about... Mine's some half, so if you're using 11, it'd be five and a half, but mine's longer, so it's 11 and seven eighths. So there's the center, and then I just want to come down one and a half inches. So there, just want to put a light little pencil mark that I can rub out in a second, and then I'm just going to pop my hole punch over the top. Done that one, and then I can just go over again. Rub that all out. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I haven't die cut the circles. I'm just going to try it without. I'm just going to put in this brad. You don't want to push it right down flush with the card. You want to have a little bit of a gap so you can get the string around. So I'm just kind of hovering it. What you can do is put your pokey tool underneath at the thinnest part, to right from like the end here put it underneath and then split the brad and that will just allow your to wobble a bit which is what you want so you can see it's there okay and then we just need to attach our string so you can attach it before or after to be honest I'm going to tie it in a knot and then cut it really close so like so and that knot lifts it as well and stops it wobbling we'll keep it all in place and then you want to cut it really close so you can't see it like so yeah I'm going to try it without I can always add the circles if I want to but basically you die cut a circle and then put the the brad over the circle and then put it through but that's it so now you can just there's nothing in it so I can bring it right down so it's like completely closed but imagine if that's really expanded that can even be there and it would still hold everything in it so it's an expanding A4 file and then you wrap it twice and then roll that around and there you have it you could put a little charm on the end of that as well if you want to fling it up even more but uh, there you have it so there's my two files all perfect and now ready for what I need um, do I need a sentiment on that one? I don't think so. That's a bit different. They're two different styles anyway. But there you have it. Probably maybe don't need the string that long. Chop it off a bit. As long as it wraps twice and then you've got enough to roll it around, it'll be fine. But there you have it. So I hope you like these A4 expanding files. And um, yeah, please hit the like button if you did. And subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.